and welcome to another episode of Ubar. Today, I want to show you how you can create a full stack application production wise. We will be using AWS SDK to deploy everything, also the Amplify application. I think this is a more realistic approach to a team that has multiple people working on the application. We have backend developers and we have frontend developers working in multiple frontends. So a very common question I get asked is if I use Amplify from the AWS CLI, from the Amplify CLI, then I adding all these things very manually. And I want to do all these things as infrastructure as code. And in general, I want to separate and decouple my backend services from my frontend application. So then I can have multiple frontends and have one backend that in general is managed by a backend team. So in this video, I want to show you how you can create only using CDK an Amplify resource using CDK to deploy, in this case, React application to create the Ampli Amplify application and deploy it in the cloud. Then we'll create the backend services and we will be connecting these backend services to the application we have in Amplify using environmental variables. Everything will be done as infrastructure as code. We'll have two GitHub repos repositories, one for our frontend and one for our backend. Like in general is when we are working in a team with frontend developers and backend developers. The frontend developers only need to worry about the frontend in this case. They will get the URLs for the environments and whatever they are doing from environmental variables. So they don't need to worry about uh, anything from the backend. So the backend developers there are in control on the stages, on the different environments, on different accounts, on different resources, and creating the environmental variables so the front-end developers can take them in. So let's go to the code and get started. So in my example, I will start creating a directory just to hold these two things together. I will upload them to GitHub as this directory. So it's easy for you to find the example uh, React application and also the example backend application. So I will create this repository, I will get inside and then I will create a React application as always using the create React app. Then I will get, uh, basically, I will not do nothing with that app yet. We'll later tweak it a little bit, but the point here is not teaching you how to do React, that you do better than me. So we will uh, wait for the whole internet to download when creating a React app, and I will be back soon. So now when my React application is created, I can make another directory, and in, inside this original one, again, this original one is just to organize the code for you uh, to give it as a GitHub repo, and there I will put my infrastructure. This will be my backend application, my CDK application. So I will create a new clean CDK application doing CDK in it, and I will be using TypeScript. Choose the language that you prefer, uh, you know, I'm a JavaScript developer. TypeScript is always my favorite weapon. So I will go with that one. And then I will wait for this to initialize. So after this is initialized, then I will install all the different components that I will be using in my CDK application. We will be using Amplify because we are going to create the application, uh, the Amplify application with this. Then I will be using Lambda and I will be using API Gateway. So I will just basically install these components, these constructors, so we can use them later on. And then I will move on. So now I will open these uh, two file directories in the backend and the frontend in Visual Studio Code, and I will go and start building my backend. So I will open the Amplify Infra Stack, basically the only place where I can put my uh, CDK code for my stack, and there I will create my Amplify application. So. Let's look at this code in more detail because it's quite interesting. You will see that I'm creating a new Amplify application called Amplify Demo App, and this will be the name of the Amplify application in the Amplify console. We'll see it in a moment. Then I will say that this application, the code comes from GitHub. So I'm giving the repository name, the owner, that is my repository, and here you can put whatever is your company or personal, and also the 
token. So this is important. This is in store in the secret manager and I will show you in a moment where it is. And then I need to give from which branch to build. So here it's quite interesting because we can create multiple amplify applications for different branches. So we can have a branch for development, a branch for staging and a branch for production. And we can create these three um, kind of uh, amplify applications from there. So if you are interested in seeing more complicated things with CDK and Amplify, let me know in the comments. And by the way, if you're liking this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and share it with your friends. So let's continue. So this is our uh, Amplify application, and this is all as infrastructure as code. So then in GitHub, I will go and create this repository with the name. I will create it private. I will remove it later on. And there we uh, will need to put the front end application, this React application that we just created. So I will copy all that and I will paste it in <laughs> my terminal. Basically, I will uh, go to the front end application and then mm, put it in GitHub. So make sure everything is there uh, because this will be the application that uh, will be managed. And this is pretty cool because now the front end developers have their application in GitHub. They can put commits there and they don't need to worry about Amplify at all. So that's what we want. So now if we refresh GitHub there, we can see that the code is up there. The next thing we need to do is to create a build script. So this is something that maybe your front-end developers cannot do and you might need to give it to them. And this build script is the build script that Amplify will be using for uh, building this application whenever it gets the code from uh, GitHub. So here we will be doing more things. So this is a very important file. If you name it Amplify YAML, Amplify will take it automatically when it's doing the build. So here, because this is a React application, so you might have different build uh, configuration for different types of application. So Google for that. I will be doing npm ci and then I will be npm run build. And the directory where the artifacts are going, because this is a React application, is the build folder. And I'm also caching the node modules because downloading the whole internet over and over again is pointless. So in order for this uh, to work with the create React app, we need to do npm install. So the package, uh, package lock JSON is created in our uh, web application. So this is a React thing. For your own view, iOS, Android, or whatever you're doing, you might have to follow a little different steps. So now we can basically see that the package log is there, the Amplify YAML is there, and we can basically add these files to our GitHub repo. And basically now our frontend is ready. So now basically we only are deploying a static frontend application in the cloud programmatically using infrastructure as code and not going to the AWS console. Later in the video, we are going to add a little bit more spice to this, but wait for it. <laughs> So now we have our repository ready. The next thing is the token. So if you don't know how to get the GitHub token, you go to your settings and then you go down, down, down to developer settings, personal access tokens, you create a new token and you paste that result in your AWS account in the secret manager. And there I already did it, so I will not show you how to do it. But if you want to see the whole process, I documented it in the CDK pipeline videos that is linked down. So now we can basically deploy this project into the cloud and see how the Amplify resource is created. Before deploying to the cloud, you need to npm run build and that will basically build the whole application and then you can run CDK deploy. This will deploy the application in the cloud. In the best where the scenario, you will have a pipeline here. So imagine the power of what I'm showing you now with CDK pipelines. If you don't know what CDK pipelines are, I'll leave you a video in the description box. <laughs> so let's wait for this to deploy and then we can uh, see what happened in the AWS console. So when this is deployed, let's go to our AWS console and to the cloud formation and see what happened. There we should see a new stack 
with a name that we give to stack. In my case, it's Amplify Infra Stack. And there I can see the resources. We have some CDK metadata, some Amplify applications, some roles, some branches in the Amplify thing. So this sounds promising. So let's go to Amplify and see what happened there. So there we can see that we have the Amplify demo app. Uh, so there we will see in the front uh, end environments that our main application is provisioning from GitHub. So basically it's getting the code from GitHub. Then it will build following the steps that we provided in the Amplify YAML build configuration. And then we'll deploy everything and we will be able to click that URL that is in the side of the page that uh, now it has a little smile in the image, but later on we'll have our React application. And again, we are deploying just a, just a starter React app, but we can do more complex things. We can have a full block like this, all created in infrastructure as code, and we can do whatever we imagine. So let's wait for this to deploy and I will be back. So now this deploy, let's click that link and verify that there is this uh, React application uh, on the cloud. Good. Now we have a static application an amplified component created with CDK. But we want to go one more step because usually our backend teams and our applications have some kind of business logic. So let's put a Lambda function and an API gateway in our CDK application and connect it to this Amplify application using environmental variables. So let's build this uh, Lambda and API gateway. I will be just I will be just putting a simple Lambda function and a simple API gateway. If you want to know how to build a simple serverless application using CDK, there is a video for you out there. So go and check it out. I leave it in the description box, uh, but I will not go into the details where I'm going there. The only thing I want to mention that is important is that API gateway have scores enabled. So I'm allowing everything in course because I don't want to make my life hard. Um, and then the Lambda function, uh, basically it returns hello. So that's uh, what the lab function returns. It's a super simple example, so no big deal. And we can go to the Amplify application. You can see there that uh, two lines were other world free. The environmental variables, there is an endpoint and a region. And if you read, the endpoint is the URL from the API gateway, and the region is this region, because why not? And these are environmental variables that uh, will get added into uh, Amplify application that then the uh, front end can consume and doesn't need to know anything. And this is pretty, pretty cool. So now we have these environmental variables and we can basically deploy this application and see what happens. But before doing that, I will modify a little bit our front end. So we can add the call to this um, Lambda function because now we are just having a simple React application that is the, the, def the default. So I will replace all this code that comes by default and I will change it for another simple application that basically has a button that calls the Lambda function. So no magic there. So basically the get API message is just doing a fetch into an endpoint. And this is the endpoint uh, environmental variable that we just created. You can see that the variable is called endpoint and in um, my application is called React app endpoint. And this is because React, <laughs> I think. So uh, have that in mind if you're building Vue, I think it's the same problem and other platforms might have the similar one that you need to add a prefix in front of the, your environmental variables. So, but we are missing a step. Now we need to build these environmental variables into our front end. So we will go again to our build script, to our Amplify YAML, and we will build those environmental variables in our front end. So we will get those uh, variables from the Amplify platform and we will building into our uh, application. So the application can access those variables. And there you can see that in our build script, I'm basically saying the React app region, that is the name of the variable that is in the uh, application itself, in the front end application is equal the region. And that's the one that we created in CDK that will be exposed as the name in the uh, Amplify application. Let's see it in action. 
<laughs> I know it's confusing, but this is uh, something, at least it caused me a little bit of problem because I thought that I could use the name everywhere. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is important if you're building a React application. So let's uh, do npm run build, and then let's do CDK deploy to deploy this application. And that's, I will be back as soon as that's done. So now our application is uh, deployed in the cloud backend. Let's add the changes to GitHub. So now a new commit will go into our front end and the Amplify application will trigger the deployment, uh, the automatic deployment that we uh, created in the previous step. And let's see if our front end now in the cloud can call this Lambda function. So we go back to our Amplify application and we can see that the CI CD process started. It kick off its provisioning, it's getting the code from GitHub, then it will build and then it will do all the shabang and we can see what happens. Let's fast forward because I'm very anxious. I want to know what happened. So now the process is done. Let's go first and check the environmental variables in our um, Amplify application. And there you can see that there is the endpoint and the regions, those ones that we created in the CDK application, they are there. And then we can refresh our React page and it seems that it changed, called an API and the return response is hello. And if we go to the console, we can see that that's the endpoint we printed in the screen. And then if we go to the network, uh, we can see that we are calling that endpoint that is the Lambda function. So in this case, you could have multiple Lambda functions for different environments. And you can have everything built as infrastructure as code and configured in your backend. And this gives a lot of control to the um, backend developers to do their job the best way possible. And then it doesn't confuse the front-end developers that they need to know a lot of cloud stuff. So I really, really like this approach. And one more thing about this scenario is that if you write CDK destroy, then the whole application destroys. The CloudFormation, um, CDK pipeline, the Lambda, the API gateway, and also the Amplify resource. And that's pretty cool because you don't want to have hanging resources out there. So after you finish this and test it out, CDK destroy, and that's all you need. This is all I want to share with you. I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comment box below if you like me to do AppSync with CDK. That will be pretty cool. Uh, that's something uh, I'm showing you how to do it with Amplify, but what if we do this magic with Amplify and we can do it with CDK? It will be very interesting. Also, you can do a similar thing with Sam. You can create a CloudFormation resource of Amplify and you can build everything I show you in Sam. Let me know if that's a mix you will be interested in seeing as well. Uh, if you want to, to know more about combining different frameworks to obtain the best results. So that's it for me today. I hope you have a great day and I see you in the next episode of Uber. Ciao, ciao.